At this stage of the project, it might be kind of fun to explore how we could change the background, maybe brighten it up a little bit or change the color in the background. Well, one of the ways that we can do this is by clicking on our Curves Adjustment Layer icon and then by making an adjustment. We want to make a pretty dramatic adjustment, in this case a darkening effect, darkening the entire image and the background. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Mask Panel. In the Mask Panel, we'll click on Color Range. Color Range allows us to make a selection based on color. Now, because we darken the image, if we click and then hold down the Shift key and click and drag, we can start to build up a pretty decent selection of this area of the photograph. So again, I'm just Shift clicking and dragging across the image in order to select most of the background. Now, this isn't perfect, yet it's a pretty good starting point. So let's go ahead and click OK in order to apply that. Now, we should see that for the most part, when we click on this, here's our before and after. Primarily, it's affecting the background although it is affecting the subject a little bit as well. Well, we need to fix the mask because you notice there's some weird edges over here and also over here. To do so, first we'll go to Mask Edge. And Mask Edge will turn on Smart Radius and crank that up. That will help Photoshop analyze those edges. Next, we'll grab this tool which allows us to paint over the edges. And here Photoshop will then analyze those and makes those much better. You can see that it's really sweetening up the edge and the way that the adjustment is affecting the image. I'll do that in a couple more little places. I think for the most part, we have a pretty decent selection there or mass that we've created. Well, so far so good. Let's click OK to apply the refinement to the mask. Next thing we need to do is we need to fix up the mask. We hold down Option on a Mac, Alt on Windows, and then we click on the Layer Mask icon. Here, I notice I have all of these problem areas. No big deal. Grab your brush tool. Go ahead and choose black as a foreground color. And then just start to paint away the areas where it's created a selection or where there's white in the black area of the mask. And as long as we paint relatively carefully, we can go ahead and fix this up so that this area won't be affected at all by this particular adjustment. And by going through these few steps here, we've just basically created a pretty decent selection which we can then use to make a few changes to the image if we desire to do so. Let's go back to the regular view. You do the same thing as we did before, which is hold down Option on a Mac, hold down Alt on Windows, and then click on the Layer Mask icon. Next, what we want to do is double click the Curves icon here, which will take us back to our Curves Adjustment. Now, in my case, I don't want to darken the background, but maybe I want to brighten it up, or perhaps, I want to go into one of the channels. Maybe I could make that background a little bit more cyan, add a bit of color into the background while I'm brightening it up. Now again, this is a bit of a subtle adjustment here, yet it's kind of a fun adjustment, adding that vibrant color in the background. Here's before and then after. To mix colors, we could go into the other channels and experiment with the different types of colors that we have here. And we could come up with an interesting color combo there. Now what's great about this is if we don't like this, we'll just lower the opacity. You can diminish it, as we can do with all of our different types of adjustments. We can also see that it has nice transparency with some of these background elements as well. Now, if ever it's gone too far, we'll simply click on the Reset button, and then you can just start from scratch again. And here, maybe just brightening up that background just a little bit might be nice. OK, well, so far, so good. I'm liking the bright background. We could even go to a white background, for that matter. And you can really see how you can change that. And then it can change the overall look and feel of your image. And then maybe I'll just add a hint of color in the background as well, just to add to the overall look and feel of this image. All right, now, is this adjustment essential to the overall project? Not necessarily, but it's kind of fun. And it also helps us see how we can start to make changes to different areas of our image when needed.